Hi witches, blessed be. This is White Raven over here. Today is Monday. Finally Monday. So happy Magic Monday to all of you guys. How are you witches? Thank you so much for all the love as usual. I'm super excited to be here as usual. And thank you for the few of you that watched the video that I shared last week. If you have the time, go ahead and watch it. You'll do me a big favor. It's a very important spell. It's a spell, it's a jar, it's a honey jar to change perspectives. When we do a lot of like hexes and curses and things don't happen, sometimes we need to change the perspective and the way we look at our magic and maybe change the spell. And instead of punishing, maybe we can try to go about our magic in a different way, maybe in a more positive way. Maybe in a positive way, you'll get the results that you expect. So if you have the time please make sure to go ahead and watch the video that I shared last week because you know you may learn a thing or two maybe the spell is not for you but the idea behind the spell may give you a different perspective on magic it's important all my videos are important I'm trying to teach you something you guys write me a lot of emails you guys write me a lot of messages and comments which is if you write me an email I am here to help you out that's that this is why I share my email with you layer of the witch at yahoo.com if you have a question, a petition, this is where you put it. Having said that, please understand, I cannot read big, long messages because I get a lot of emails on a daily basis, a lot of comments, a lot of messages. Just tell me what you need and I'll try it as best as I can to share a video here in YouTube for you to do. Also, which is make sure to go through my videos before you ask me any petition because a lot of the times I'm pretty sure in the 10 years that I've been in YouTube, I have covered pretty much everything. So if you have a petition and I don't answer you and you don't see the video right away, because there's so many of you guys, go through my videos, which is, and make sure to subscribe and like my channel so you get my notifications because if I don't address your petition today, I may address it next Monday or the following Monday. Just make sure you stick around and you do that by subscribing to my channel and liking my channel. It's very important, plus you help me out. I need your help. If you want me here, I need people watching my videos, right? So today, the video that I have in here for you is a combination of different petitions, okay? Because it's going to be a spell that you can use and you can design and tweak to meet your needs. I'm going to give you the basics of this spell for you to adapt it to your own specific needs. It's going to be a jar spell because I love jar spells. It's going to have Puppet, a little dolly, and I'm going to show you how to do a dolly really basic which is going to have candles, it's going to have some oils and some powders. Okay, so now, before we go into this hex, because it's going to be a hex, there's some things that I want to discuss with you, which is, all of you guys, when you write to me, you tell me your problem. You tell me what other people or another person has done to you. And sometimes you tell me the things that you want to do towards this person. The spell that you want to do, the hex that you want to do. Listen, which is, there's a few things that you need to have into consideration when you're doing a hex towards another person. Number one, which is, how is your life going? And let me explain myself. If your life right now is extremely abundant, if your life right now is happy, if you have health, if you have money, if you have happiness, if you have love in your body, if you have everything in your life and somebody has done something bad to you, consider, do you really want to get into the mental state of doing a hex to punish somebody? Or are you just going to say, you know what? Let it be back at you. Let's be done with this. Analyze that, which is if you are in a if you are going through a bliss in your life, don't break that by doing a hex to somebody. By all means, if the person needs to be punished, do it. But if it's petty stuff, we all get what we put in in this life. Don't break your bliss and your happiness just to do a petty curse. That's just an idea that I want to share with you. Another thing that I notice is that many of you guys want to punish somebody really harshly. Maybe this person has being rude to you and you just want to do like everything in the book of hexes against this person. Listen, I tell you that in order for you to do a hex, you must be justifiable. Fine, yes, the person was rude to you, the person was mean to you, but does that mean that you have to do against this person all the curses in the book of curses? Be just. If this person is just being rude to you, send him a jinx. You don't need to send this person the worst curses out there just because the person was rude to you. A lot of us act in the heat of the moment. I've told you before, whenever you feel like doing a hex for somebody, cool off first and then think, what is it that I should be doing against this person before you go ahead and you do the curse? Just food for thought, which is another point that I want to discuss with you, which is 
how are you behaving towards other people? Because maybe this is life charging you for something that you have done before to somebody else. Sometimes we get people acting up a specific way to us and that is a lesson, not necessarily something for you to send a hex. Learn the lesson. If there's no lesson behind that and the person is just being mean to you, by all means, hex the heck out of them. But make sure that before you hex somebody, you're standing in firm grounds in life and you're being a decent person towards other human beings. Last, make sure you're justifiable, which very important that you're not doing hexes out of spite. Just because you don't like somebody, you want to throw hexes out there. It's very important. Those are points that I want to address before we go ahead and we do hexes. Because I share a lot of hexes in here with you, which is, I just want to make sure that you understand that because I'm sharing this with you, it's not because they're easy to do and anybody can do them. I'm sharing these hexes with you. I'm sharing these curses with you because I believe that out there, there's a lot of abusive people and a lot of people that don't have resources of means or ways to get even or defend themselves other than with magic. I am not here to entertain you being evil or you being mean. I am here to stand next to the underdog and tell you that you got what it takes. Take charge of your life, defend yourself, and protect yourself. Don't play with hexes, which is just because I'm showing you here some hexes doesn't mean that this is for everybody and anybody can do it free of charge. Pay attention. All right, which is I have so many things in this table right now that I want to share with you. You guys know that I am a very big fan of puppets. Uh, most people call them voodoo doll. That is not the correct name. These are, you can call them dollies. You can call doll magic, puppet magics. And if you want to call them voodoo dolls, you can call them voodoo dolls. I remember that voodoo dolls pertain to voodoo, but that's usually how most people know them. You have many ways to do puppets and do dollies. They don't have to be too elaborated. They don't have to be hard. The idea is for you to make a doll to represent the target of your hex or, or your spell. And when we do this, we're going to be working with sympathetic magic. And sympathetic magic means that since we are going to be making a puppet, and my puppet already made over here, since we're going to be making a puppet in the image of some body, then whatever we do to this puppet in turn is going to be happening to the person that this puppet is representing. So in order for that to happen, your puppet has to have a contagion. And a contagion is a tag look. That means something that the other person has touched, the picture of the person, hair of the person, or anything that belongs to the target of your spell. Because by you doing something to that property of the person, of your target. In turn, whatever you do to that, the other person is going to feel and is going to affect the other person in the specific manners that you are affecting your puppet. That is, which is sympathetic magic. It's one of the most common magic I love sympathetic magic and I want you to understand that for this magic to work properly, you need to have some type of tag log to link your target to the puppet. Puppet magic has been something that has been done for hundreds of years. Whenever you sit down and you make a puppet, which is you do not have to be too elaborated, you just need to make two legs, two arms, a head, and a body. Don't have to kill yourself trying to do something elaborated. This is one of my babies over here. I did a video on how I did this little puppet with Charlie. I did this little puppet the other day. I also did this one the other day. For this one, I pretty much used a hot glue gun and some felt and I shape it. I also put some Spanish moss on this one. Silver Raven Wolf has a really nice book on puppets. I'll link it in the description of the video. And the good thing about it is she shares with you a lot of patterns for you to do your own puppets. The one that we're going to be doing today, I'm gonna to show you how to do them. You can do them in five minutes. It's done with pipe cleaners and a pom-pom and a picture of the person. For this spell, which is, we're going to need a mason jar. If you can go to the craft store and need to go to the craft store, you're gonna need some foam, which is, and I'm gonna tell you why you need some foam, but maybe a piece of foam like this, a disc of foam. You're definitely are going to need some needles. 
I have over here really big thick needles which is also make sure that you have some not only needles but some pins the ones with the pearly heads I don't know if you can see this which is sorry they don't have to be white they could be any color if you can get them black get them black uh, it's very hard to find black ones I usually just paint them uh, what else are you gonna need you're gonna need one or two black candles I suggest for you to get a chunky black candle so you just use one so black candle like this one will be nice for you to use okay you're obviously going to need some pipe cleaners I got some black pipe cleaners over here also you're gonna need some pom-poms black pom-poms this is gonna make the head of your puppet and last which is you're going to need at least one powder and one oil for hexing you're gonna need one powder to put inside the bottle and you're going to need one oil to anoint your candle in my website I have different type of powders and oils white raven and witches lair.com I only service the United States if you're not in the United States I suggest for you to find powder that is used in your country or in your side of the planet that is used for cursing people basic you can put some cemetery dirt inside this bottle and when it comes to the oil if you do not have anything you can get either castor oil or mineral oil charge it with your bad intentions and that's the one that you're going to use other than that I'm going to show you some of the ones that I have in my website when I'm doing this spell and you choose from there the one that you want personally I'm going to use for my hex today damnation powder and to anoint the candle I'm going to use black arts oil which is whenever you get my oils may do you give it a shake because I put a lot of powders sometimes in this oils and they settle in the bottom so make sure that you shake them very well when they get to you last which is we are going to need I don't know which brand you have in your side of the planet but you're going to need something really sticky to put in the bottom of your bottle so I need something like this these are insect traps you probably have seen the ones that I think is one of the cruelest things in this world uh, the ones for mice that they walk and then they get stuck listen I think this is horrendous for an I just the most horrendous thing so I'm going to use them just for the purpose of this spell I don't use them for the purpose of killing no insects and no animals I think that's the cruelest thing in the in this world but you're also going to need some of that and I'll tell you how to use it when we start doing this spell if you do not find this in your side of the planet you need something really sticky in there hot glue gone maybe some tape maybe some glue so oh my god talk too much already without further ado which is let's get into the spell okay which is so the first thing that we're going to do we're going to grab our pom-pom right and we're going to also grab our pipe cleaner we're going to fold it in half and we are going to go around the pom-pom just like this okay and you're going to twist in the bottom it's very important which is that the pom-pom is secure in there so we secure the face you're going to see the pom-pom on the side right here make sure that's going to be the side of the head you don't want that in the front of your head we're going to grab the other pipe cleaner pipe cleaners are so friendly witches because they fold they bend and they do all sort of things so you're going to turn it take it around the neck of the doll you're going to twist it a couple of times and now which is this is what we have we have a head we have arms and we have legs now the arms may be a little bit too long so you can just bend them a little bit and twist them a little bit and you can bend the other one and twist it a little bit right now you can have another pipe cleaner all right and with this pipe cleaner we will do the body so just wrap it around. I mean, it's going to be hard for me because I have nails. I love my nails. I like to have nails. So you make a little body just like this. All right. And you go around your dolly. And you make the body. There you go. So now you have a head, you have arms, and you have legs. 
Now, witches, listen up. In this particular spell, this is what we're going to do. Uh, let's say this is the front of the face of your dolly. You're going to put a picture of your target right here. If you have the picture. All right. So this is the face. So it's going to be looking to the front. The right foot, we're going to bend it forward. Right? Just like this. You bend it. And the idea behind that is, is that we envision this person taking a step forward. Now, the left foot, we're going to bend three times. One, two, backwards, right? Three. So we have the right leg that has the step forward. And for every step that this dolly takes forward, this dolly is going to take three steps behind. So make sure you do that, which is when you finish with your dolly, you're going to have the face. If you have hair of the person, you put the hair of the person, right? It should look something like that. You don't necessarily have to have blonde hair. I don't know. This is definitely not my hair, which is I keep hair. So the first thing that you're going to do, which is you're going to grab two pins. First things are first things first, which is make sure that you cover the person's eyes. I've shown you this before. I have done a few videos already doing the exact same thing that I'm doing in here right now. Make sure you cover the person's eyes. And while we're doing with that, which is we are making sure that this person does not know what's going on. <laughs> we want this person to be completely clueless of what's happening. Once you do this, you are going to grab your bottle. You're going to need the size of bottle that's going to fit your doll, okay? Now, with the foam, what you wanna do with the foam, you wanna, you wanna glue it in the lid of the mason jar, okay? All right, so have that into the side. We're also going to have our bug trap. Okay, you have it here. Next, we're going to grab our container with our needles. The whole purpose of this hex, which is, is for you to make sure that this person stays inside stagnation. This person is going to be stuck. And this person is not going to be able to do much. Every time she takes a step forward, she's going to take three steps back. All right, you want to keep your enemy stuck inside this jar. This is why we have also the bug trap. This is why you have that sticky stuff because she's going to be stuck in her own gunk. We have a candle here. It's going to be a black candle. You, Whenever you're doing hexes, witches, you're going to use a black candle. That's the color of hexes. You want a black candle for hexes. Now this candle you are going to inscribe with the name of the person. Name of the person. Name of person. You can put a date of birth if you have it. You can put address if you have it, which. And you can put anything you want to put in there that links this candle to this person. Once you do that, which, you are going to anoint this candle with your hexing oil. Again, in my particular case, I'm going to use Black Arts Oil. If you do not have this oil, which use mineral oil and charge it with your intentions. Or you can use castor oil and charge it with your intentions. My oil. Think about your intentions, which is think about what you want. You are charging this candle because you want this person to suffer and come asking you for forgiveness, paying you your money if she owes you money, leaving your man alone, stop slandering you. But you want this person to pay. You want this person to come back to you and ask for forgiveness. Okay, which is... Grab your foam, light your candle. 
you're going to grab your first needle and these needles are going to represent everything that this person is going to find in her life from now on every time she takes a step forward this is what she's going to encounter in life making her taking three steps behind name every needle with what you want to happen to this person needle your name is over t put it in the fire which you're gonna stick it right here which is grab your other needle needle your name is lost of sexual drive stick it in there needle your name is illness put it in here which you want this person to have no friends needle your name is loneliness You want this person to have a failure in her life? Needle, your name is failure. Does this person have this attitude at work and she thinks she's better than you? Needle, your name is shame. Put it here. Which is once you have old the things that you want this person to feel and you transport those feelings into your needles put that to the side lift your candle on peel your trap and now put your doll in there there you go she's stuck in there we're gonna put her in the bottle like that watch this inside grab your powder in my particular case i'm going to put damnation powder and that's what you're going to put in there which i don't want you to over saturate your spell do not over saturate your hex don't slow down your magic be simple and precise now that you have your needles in here with whatever it is that you want this person to feel every time she tried to take a step ahead that's what you're gonna do which is this is what's going to be looking like you want just needles to keep that person inside until she pays you your money she comes asking for forgiveness begging for forgiveness she stops slandering you she leaves you alone This is what you want your bottle to look like. Grab your candle, witches. Put it in your bottle. Make your chance. Focus in what you want. And tell the universe what you want this person to do. You want this person to come begging for forgiveness. You want this person to pay you your money. You want this person to stop slandering you and she's going to stay in this bottle until she changes her ways and she comes begging for you to forgive her. Which is once you finish with your bottle, once your candle is consumed and melt all the way through, you want to keep this bottle in a dark place. Better yet, if you can bury it inside a pot or outside in the ground, do so. But pay attention. If this person comes back to you and pay you your money, if this person comes back to you and asks you for forgiveness, if this person leaves you alone and is repentive of what they did to you, make sure to dig your bottle up, throw it in a trash can, throw it away. Just make sure you release the person from that bottle. Don't forget which, other than that, enjoy your hex.
And that's it, which is, I hope this hex give you at least some type of idea on how to get even with somebody that has hurt you and somebody that owes you money, somebody that has disrespected you or somebody that has to fix their ways. My whole purpose of showing this type of hexes with you is to empower you, witch, and to make sure that you do what you gotta do. Just make sure that you're justified. Just make sure that you analyze the four points that I shared with you in the beginning of the video before doing any type of hexes or curses. Thank you so much for all your support. Remember to visit my website, whiteravenandwitcheslayer.com. I'm gonna have all of these products in my website and email me if you have any questions at layer of the witch at yahoo.com remember that i am in facebook instagram pinterest go visit me there and say hi other than that i love you all which is please make sure to stay very smart which is but above all in this world we must stay so very wicked defend yourself bye